Welcome to Travel Trek, your passport to a world of adventure and exploration. Have you ever wondered what not to wear on an airplane? Well, today you're going to find out. When it comes to air travel, attire is more than just a fashion statement. It's about comfort, mobility, and even hygiene. Unfortunately, there are common mistakes many travelers make, often prioritizing style over practicality, which can lead to discomfort, restricted movement, or even easily stained clothes during the journey. Think about it. Who wants to navigate a crowded cabin or attempt a tiny bathroom in a bulky raincoat or a tricky jumpsuit? Who wants to sit for hours in tight volleyball shorts or an uncomfortable sports bra? The key is to find a balance between style and comfort, to pack versatile clothing options that can handle the rigors of travel. So let's dive into the list of items you should avoid wearing while flying. Let's unpack the suitcase of undesirable travel attire, one item at a time. First on our list, raincoats. I know what you're thinking, but what if it's raining when I land? I hear you but consider this. Raincoats can be bulky and take up a lot of space in your carry-on. Instead, opt for a lightweight, water-resistant jacket. It's more versatile, takes up less space and can be easily rolled up when not in use. Next up, jumpsuits. While they may be a stylish choice for a dinner date, they're not the best for air travel. Why, you ask? Well, imagine being in a tiny airplane bathroom trying to get in and out of one. Not exactly a fun time, is it? Instead, opt for separates that are easy to manage. Volleyball shorts and sports bras are next on the chopping block. Yes, they're comfortable. Yes, they're easy to move in. But they may not provide the warmth you need in a chilly airplane cabin. And let's not forget about the lack of pockets. Where will you stash your boarding pass or phone? Instead, consider leggings or joggers paired with a comfortable t-shirt or tank top. And for the ladies, a regular bra or a sports bra with a bit more coverage. Moving on to bulky attire. This includes heavy sweaters, oversized jackets, and big boots. These items can take up a lot of space, restrict your movement, and may even be uncomfortable to wear for long periods. Instead, layer up. Wear a light t-shirt, followed by a lightweight sweater, and carry a jacket. This way you can add or remove layers as needed. Now let's talk about easily stained clothing. Sure, that white linen shirt or those light-colored jeans may look great, but they're a magnet for stains. And with the potential for turbulence-induced spills, they're not the best choice for a flight. Opt for darker colors or patterns that can help hide any accidental spills. Lastly, cumbersome jewelry. While that statement necklace or those big hoop earrings may complete your outfit, they can also be a hassle during security checks. Not to mention they can be uncomfortable to wear during a long flight. Instead, keep your jewelry minimal and easy to remove. Now you might be thinking, but I want to look good when I travel. And you absolutely can. The key is to find a balance between comfort and style. Opt for breathable fabrics, stretchy pants, and easy-to-remove shoes. And remember, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. It's also important to consider your destination. If you're traveling to a colder climate, pack a pair of warm socks in your carry-on. If you're heading to a tropical destination, a light shawl or cardigan can help combat the chill of the air conditioning. And let's not forget about packing. Roll your clothes instead of folding them to save space and avoid wrinkles. Pack versatile pieces that can be mixed and matched to create different outfits. This way, you'll have more room for souvenirs. In conclusion, while it may be tempting to dress to impress when traveling, comfort should always be your top priority. Air travel can be unpredictable, and the last thing you want is to be stuck in uncomfortable or impractical clothing for hours on end. So, save the fashion show for after you land and opt for comfort and practicality while in the air. Now that we've discussed what not to wear, let's move on to the alternatives. Now let's look at some flight-friendly alternatives. Let's start with the raincoat. Sure, it might seem like a great idea to stay dry when you're walking from the terminal to the plane, but it's bulky and can be a hassle to store during the flight. Instead, consider a lightweight, water-resistant jacket that you can easily fold up and tuck away. It will keep you dry and won't take up too much space in your carry-on. Next up, the jumpsuit. While they're stylish and easy to throw on, the impracticality comes in when nature calls. Trust me, you don't want to be wrestling with a jumpsuit in a tiny airplane bathroom. Instead, opt for a two-piece ensemble. How about a comfortable, loose-fitting top paired with stretchy pants? Easy to slip on and off and super comfortable for those long flights. Speaking of pants, let's talk about volleyball shorts. They might be great for a game on the beach, but on an airplane, not so much. They're short, which means more skin contact with the airplane seats. And let's face it, cleanliness is not always guaranteed when air traveling. Swap them out for some stretchy leggings or joggers. They're comfortable, cozy, and cover enough of your skin to keep you protected from any unclean surfaces. 
Following on the same lines, sports bras. Yes, they're supportive, but they can be a bit restrictive, especially on long haul flights. Instead, consider a wireless or seamless bra. They offer enough support without the discomfort that can come from wearing a sports bra for several hours at a time. Now let's talk accessories. Large, bulky jewelry might make a fashion statement, but it's not the most practical choice for air travel. Instead, go for simpler, lightweight pieces. They won't set off the security alarms, won't weigh you down, and are less likely to get lost or damaged during your journey. As for shoes, you might want to rethink those high heels. Not only can they be uncomfortable, but they're also not ideal for navigating through airports or in case of an emergency evacuation. Opt for a comfortable pair of slip-on shoes instead. They're easy to take off at security checkpoints and put back on, plus they're typically more comfortable for walking and standing in long queues. For your carry-on bag instead of a large, heavy tote, consider a small, lightweight backpack. It's easier to carry, won't weigh you down, and can fit under the seat in front of you easily. Lastly, remember to layer. Airplanes can often be chilly, so wearing layers can help you adjust to the changing temperatures. A lightweight sweater or a scarf can do the trick, and they're easy to remove or add as needed. Remember, comfort and practicality are key when it comes to travel attire. So, to recap, the core of our conversation revolves around optimizing comfort and practicality in your travel attire. We've discussed the importance of avoiding raincoats, jumpsuits, volleyball shorts, and sports bras during air travel. These items, while seemingly convenient, can cause discomfort, restrict movement, or get dirty easily. Instead, we've suggested packing versatile clothing options that are comfortable and easy to manage. Stretchy pants, for instance, are a great alternative to restrictive or bulky clothing. They provide the flexibility you need during long hours of sitting and walking around airports. We've also touched on the idea of avoiding cumbersome jewelry. While they might be fashionable, they can be a hassle during security checks and might even cause discomfort during your journey. To wrap up, remember to pack smart, think comfort, and be practical. Safe travels, and remember, the journey is just as important as the destination. Dress accordingly. Don't forget to subscribe for additional tips similar to this one.